Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. I'm going to do a piece of art today using um, some tissue and this little teacup and some paint and whatever else we decide to, to throw into this project. This is the board I'm going to be using and I already went ahead and stained it. Um, and then we will paint it next. But first we're going to work on our little teacup that's going to go on this. And this graphic will be on our website. It'll be finished. This is my rough um, copy of it. It will look like this with just the outline around it. I'm hoping I have to wait for my son to get home to help me finish the project. Um, I'm not perfect at Illustrator by any means, but I'm, I'm learning it. So um, you can just print this out. I printed it out on cardstock. This is what it looks like on the back side. Um, you could take, if you you have a pretty strong um, printer, you could probably cut like a piece of manila envelope and cut it, at, print, run it through the printer and cut it out. But I just did cardstock because that's what I had. So let's set that aside. And then I've got this piece of, it's not tissue paper, it's the rice paper. Um, so it's thicker, but you could use tissue paper. And basically what you want to do, and also you could not do tissue paper, you could just stamp this, you could put some tea staining or some ink staining on it, um, and then stamp on it or put a transfer. I'm going to do it this way, but um, run with it whatever way, you know, whatever you have. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I think I want to do this corner like that. And what you could do ahead of time is you could you know, figure out what you want, and then you could cut the piece out. You could glue it right over the top of your, you want to do it without the lines, um, glue it right over the top, and then cut it out. Um, I went ahead and cut this out, so I'm going to go ahead and just set this on top. And I think that's kind of where what I want on there. Um, get my scissors here. If you do it that way, then you're not cutting twice, which is really nice. You don't always want to have to I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger than the actual thing. Let's put that aside. And then set that over there. And I'm using Big Top by DIY. And it's just one of their top coats. Um, I'm going to just paint it on my little teacup here. So I'm going to set something on top of this while it's drying to help it adhere to this. Put a little bit more on there. It seems to want to dry faster than I want it to. It's warm. It's warm today here. And I'm painting it with crinoline DIY color and I'm just going to spray it down a little bit and I stain this board. This is one of the IOD. Um, it's the eight by eight blank and I just used a stain to put on. You, you can skip that step if you want to. I just wanted to be able to maybe rub it back if I chose to. I'm not quite sure yet what what I want it to look like. I'm just kind of going with it. This is a great project if you're just wanting to be creative, um, but you don't know exactly what you want it to look like and you just want to play. It's also good for, you know, sample boards. If you just want to get a feel for, um, you know, playing with the different products. Okay. 
Okay, our board's dry, and I'm going to take our borders stencil, and I'm just going to bring it out a ways from the edge, and I'm taking faded burlap and DIY paint, and I'm just going to put some on the brush, and then I'm going to blot it over here on the side so I don't have a ton on my brush, and I'm just going to come in here, and I just want it to be soft. I don't want it to be overpowering. And I did not use the uh, adhesive on this. Um, if there's a little bit that goes under, that's okay. Because the whole thing is, is kind of um, supposed to be funky. Just lift that up. See, that's very pretty. And I'm just going to do it on the one side. If you want to make a border all the way around, by all means, have at it. But that's all I'm going to do. Hit it with the heat gun so it dries. Going to take a paper towel and I'm going to get it wet. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edges a little bit and wipe back the paint. And you can wipe back as much or as little as you want. Completely up or not at all. I just wanted a little bit of the wood to stain to show through and you could also go in the middle a little bit and just kind of make it a little bit rustic this would probably work a little bit better with just a wet rag instead of a wet paper towel all right and the next step we'll be putting our little teacup on here but first we need to cut it out it feels like it's pretty dry our little teapot teacup not a teapot so now we're going to once again I'm going to use the big top and get it pretty saturated and I'm not putting this down here at the bottom I'm going to put it up here a little bit so it's kind of floating And you can see I did not cut that out perfect. Just as long as it looks good on the other side. I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to get it pressed down good. And I'm going to put some of this... Well, I'm just going to go around the entire thing, overlapping just a smidge. Got something in there on the edges. So you can see there's kind of a halo. And then get your center. So I'm going to use a page of this particular uh, transfer but this project also would be excellent for your scrap pieces all those little bits and pieces that you have shoved in a folder or have 
tucked into your um, the pad. Um, pull those out because this is a good time to use use them. So what you can do to kind of get a feel for the look you're wanting, you don't want to set it all the way down, the transfer all the way down, because some of them will stick immediately. But that looks kind of like what I want to do. So I'm going to cut down to um, maybe where it splits there and just use these. If you can, just cut out what you're wanting because you don't want to, you know, just willy-nilly and cut into that flower when you may want that flower later or you may want it for this project. So I'm just going to set that so it goes right up to the cup. And you can see I'm overlapping the um, stencil work I did. Let's grab the tool. Now, what do we want to add? Let's see, probably a butterfly or a bird in this um, would be sweet. What else do we do? Um, I thought I had a butterfly here. Well, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to put some of this wording in here. I think I'm going to do this one here. to go right let's see maybe we do it that way oh I want them both so I'm going to try to go and see how it sticks to this and when you're going on two levels like this is raised um, and you're doing a uh, transfer you want to just or a stamp too you just want to get in there nice and good make sure that you're rubbing right against that line so that it'll stick in that little crevice hear it popping. Yep. And it did stick to that. Perfect. Now remember, I do have Big Top around here too, so it should have done fine going on there. I'm going to use the paper because I always forget that the black comes off a little bit. And you can see it in the ghosting, which actually kind of gives it a cool shadow on this, but... Okay, I grabbed two butterflies because I wasn't sure exactly which one I might want or if I would want a couple. Oh, I might want a couple. That's pretty. No, I like it the other way. So I decided I wanted to add a little bit of fern coming out too. Um, you could either cut this, that way you could use the rest of it. Um, but I think I'm okay with just going ahead and cutting across. Like that. Now you can put transfers on top of transfers. Just like this. It's an okay thing to do in your layering.
Now, I don't like what this is looking like here. I think I just, it was bad placement for um, putting, you know, rub through. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little paintbrush and I'm going to grab my paint. I'm just going to go over it and just kind of fill that in because I just don't care for it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run some wax over this. And then we can antique it a little bit if you feel like it, or you can just leave it alone like that and let it dry. I think I will do a little bit. Um, I need my little thing to get a little bit of powder out. This is the darkened, decrepit dust. And don't do what I'm doing. Don't put your uh, brown wax uh, brush into your clear. This is almost out, so I don't feel too horrible. I'm just going to do a little bit on the corners and up, maybe just a smidge. And maybe a little bit there. Take a paper towel and just kind of rub it back a little bit. And that is it. I like the kind of grungy, funky look. More uh, decrepit dust you can put on to give it that feel. And that is it. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use today, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye.